I grew up under the tree, but I didn't know about the, the, the value or the life, you know. I, but I always recognized something was amazing in our food. The bread, these little things here, you can fill it up with cheese if you like. I want you to, to touch. It's good to touch and smell. And keep it on your mouth as long as possible. The more, the longer it's the better, because the energy, release energy into your body. Chewing is very important, so you connect with the food. Because it's, 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 it's just lovely to eat like that. Where's the cheese coming from? Because I thought dairy wasn't... It's a nut cheese, made of nuts. I like it. Like this uh, here is based on pine nuts. Pine nuts and the lasagna is made is macadamia nuts and pine nuts. No, no animal. No, no cheese, no, no. Does it have the rajula as a base? Not really, not this time. I usually use, yeah, but uh, not this time. What is rejuvenate? <laughs> it comes from when you uh, sprout things, especially uh, buckwheat. Yeah, it's very simple to make rejuvenate. What You don't throw it away. Uh, you just keep it and you can even ferment it also if you like, two, three days. It's very good because it's, it's the life in the water. I like uh, buckwheat better, and sunflower also, but buckwheat is very powerful, it's very good. Yeah. And also wheat berries though too, right? They yes, wheat berries, wheat berries yes. Mm -hmm. With David Job, what I picked up is that he's about having us have a very high vibration of the food and nutrients. Mm -hmm. So in raw food, you could have junk, mm -hmm. okay, and a lot of sugar. Yes. This is levels up from that, okay? Right. So this is the chef that, I, that like, she knows this because she was one-to-one -one with David, you best, know? Yeah, we're be best friends. We are best friends. Right now he's in Arizona. Uh, I'm going to visit him. I oh. didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to visit him very soon. He's called the godfather of live food. He doesn't mention us live food. You can check his website. He's a very cool man from Australia. He written two oh, right. books. I'm not selling the books, no. It's not about that. <laughs> but you can go into the website and it's all about, it's, it's really emptiness, that's what he always say. We're too into things and too afraid to, to do things. Once you realize that we are energy, that we're all together, and we move because our energy that connects us it is in food. And it's this powerful energy that, that we always need. We do need to it make changes. And the time has come that we all uh, wake up. I did. I almost died, so we need to know what's going on with our food. And um, I, I did that, and I made that great, you know, big jump, and I'm glad I did. Because it's not complicated. It's very easy. If you like, for instance, you like the ginger cookies or the papaya or the, this is made of Ari's moss. Ari moss is a, is a seaweed. That comes from, of course, from the sea, but it's very high in minerals. And uh, once you learn how to manipulate the energy, it's incredible. It's phenomenal. You can use it in anything. Almost, almost everything in here has iris moss. That's why we put a display. Because in David Jobs, we use it a lot. That's one of our basic things. Because minerals are very important to us. What's the difference between Irish moss and, say, blue or green algae? <laughs> well, uh, green algae, I believe, is from the lakes. It grows on lakes. Yeah, and uh, Arismos is from, from uh, yeah, from the ocean. It retains the, the sunlight. It takes the sunlight and, and changes the minerals, and it just becomes very, you can see it at the end. It's very fine. You know, you can put them on your face if you like. It's very good for your face. <laughs> what are the cookies made of? The cookies is um, they are based on sunflower, and also has um, uh, Brazil nuts, and uh, ginger, and raw honey, and a little bit of arismas. So a little bit of what? Arismas. Arismas. But there's there's no grain or no no I don't use there any grain. grain in any of the things no no I like don't QR use no beans no rice no lentils at all. It's all based on seeds and nuts. Um, it's the highest energy, anything that grows on trees, uh, it's very powerful energy. Small bite is very powerful, once you put them on your mouth, you please, it's like even close your eyes and realize, wow, you will feel it right here. 
you feel you a small bite you go wow the explosion of flavors and energy in, on your on your mouth is incredible so the the longest you keep it on your mouth and you're going to feel like wow this is you're going to feel really good <laughs> i hope that so you enjoy it marina how does how does david job taste food how does he eat oh my food? goodness he doesn't he, he i would never saw him uh, taking a plate he would take something put it on his mouth on his mouth and he would go mm. incredible yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it he i never saw him eating he is mm, incredible amazing <laughs> david, <laughs> david could you taste this please it's easy uh, very tiny mm, mm. Mm, wow amazing that's it. He's a very simple guy. Right? He never, I never saw him eating like, you know, like we know. And he's very, very straight. You know, so he's straight. He's, and I never eat it. I was like, this, he's full of energy. So it's contagious. You believe it's, it's awesome. Once you could take your time and, yes, ma'am. You, you lived in Colombia and a lot of us have been to foreign countries and, and the food that's available there is quite different than the food that we have here. Now, would you say that we could go, like I buy my food at the Natural Food Market in Centerville, the Brazil nuts from there would mm -hmm. be as good tasting as what you're saying you're eating? Yeah, it is amazing because um, I went to Colombia before my, my mother passed away and I was making, I was looking for Brazil nuts. Did you know that I found Brazil nuts for almost like, not even a week old, like five mm -hmm. days? They were so amazing because next to the, they come from the Amazon, they come from this. We have amazing food. I mean, it's incredible. Now in Colombia, people are, are getting like Dr. Um, uh, from the, uh, uh, Clement, Clement, he went to Colombia. Um, he was there last year, I believe, um, uh, because we are connected to nature because we come from, I'm a native. You know, I, I don't have my braid, but I'm a native. And uh, we grew up under the trees. That was my playground, under the papaya trees, um, orange trees, coffee trees. So that's our nature. And when I recognized this, the first time I came to New York, and I, and I, didn't, I was looking, I said, no stove, no microwave. And I said, what is this? He said, we don't cook. I said, can I learn this? Yes. I was, I was blessed that I was with him for all this time with David Jobs because they say they, we don't cook. And they gave me a sip of, a, a tiny um, sip of, of, of milk. And I said, no, no, I don't drink because I was, I was sick. And then he said, well, okay. Um, um, can I ask you a question? Why, what kind of milk? I said, well, it's, we make milk from nuts. And I was like, milk from nuts? What is that? So I know how it is not to know things. But once you know about this, you hold it. You will, because it's gonna change your life, definitely. And it keep you, it keep us, keep you running the rest of your life. So, do you play basketball? I do. I shoot hoops anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I play basketball. Yes, I do. Um, I'm, yes, I play for Colombia national team. I play volleyball when I was 15 years old. And but I love basketball too, and I just we yeah, are I just hope with teenagers, and it's I don't know you can't beat me that easy because because <laughs> <laughs> I'm jump I'm jump I'm all the time and my energy is like really going and going and my 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 grandchildren are like come on let's go and play Grandma, come on Ita okay they call me Ita so he's three and five and they all like ready to play because I'm right there and I told him how to play basketball too. Yes, it's okay. okay because uh, the other night you were leaving here after dinner, and I look out the out the window, and here you're skipping down the ramp, down yes. down the driveway. You know, I go, wow! You know, <laughs> I, said, I want them. So yeah. we have something special here. Can you feel it? Can you can you sense it? It's mm -hmm. it's different. Okay, that's why I said this is like a launching pad, so a stepping stone. This is all about fun and uh, learning about fun. Uh, I also do art. Like you see these pieces are made, this is, this, uh, this, I designed this. You can do it yourself also too. You know, instead of using, you can, uh, I call edible art. I did that and that, and you can, you know, use it, then you eat it. It is Italian flavor, this is go for flavor. Italian flavor, this is the Mexican flavor, because the beans go with the beans. 
for the beef. What's the oh, oh, this is this is this is good. But this the salsa. You can put this on your bread, or you can put them on your plate, whatever you like. But this is very good to put them like bruschetta. No, no, that's this type of bruschetta bread. You know, it's, it's hard, but it's amazing. And you can, you know, whatever. Is it the same for Yes, this, all these are the same, the same, but this, this has tomatoes, that doesn't have tomatoes, so. Um, and here, the, the lasagna. And what is this? This is the Thai coconut soup. Oh, yes, wow. it's all raw, yes. I hope that you enjoy it, hopefully you like it. Make yourself comfortable, this home is for you to enjoy. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming, thank you so much. Thank you. I came here for my food, for the food, delicious. And I tasted it. Yummy, yummy, good for your tummy. <laughs> it's so good. It's very creamy, not sweet, a lot of flavor. It's really delicious. My mouth feels like there's lights going off in it. The light force in it, it's unbelievable. It's like it's on, it's a, I can't even explain it. It's alive. My mouth is alive. And I can feel it. And the taste is unbelievable. Every little morsel has its own unique flavor. And like I was closing my eyes and I was just tasting everything. And I'm like beside myself with joy. I can't wait till she starts teaching this. And I'm so glad I have a dehydrator. I almost sold it. And now I still have it. I'm going to start dehydrating nuts and following her example. Why not? Thank you. I think this food is amazing. It's delicious. It's very different from a lot of foods that you would normally eat. But I think the experience of eating this quality food might change your mind about at least experiencing some some high quality raw food. It's really delightful. It's all been very delicious. This is a dessert that is over there. Well, if I had to reckon, I would say that the entire concept of the food is impressive, along with it being appetizing, but the ideology and philosophy behind it are fascinating. Uh, her entire concept on life breeding life, uh, to eat things that are truly dead and decaying is not uh, the ideal way to absorb nutrients. Uh, I, I've got to say the idea itself is fascinating. The science behind it I'm unfamiliar with. Cannot attest to that, but the food is quite good. Absolutely the best raw food I've ever had. It's wonderful to not feel like an alien, uh, to be here with early adopters and to know we've got community here on the Cape to keep this going. Just loved it. Healthy education. Marina is a delight. <laughs> and seeing the beautiful spread that she put out 
was healthy in itself. It was an incredible healthy dinner. Beautiful, bright, vibrant raw food. The food was amazing, but the energy in this room is beyond anything I've ever experienced. The first experience of raw food, I didn't know what to expect, but it was delicious, and I'm looking forward to creating my own. I enjoyed the most fabulous lasagna that you did not have to cook, and I can't wait to try it at home. A beautiful evening with beautiful people, beautiful energy, the best food that I have ever had, and Marina's been telling me this past week, it will be the best food. And it is. Thank you, Marina. Aww. It feels good to be rejuvenated by your food instead of getting tired out by what you eat. A total new experience of discovery in food for me. Absolutely fantastic. It's an incredible discovery of amazing new things. The love is in the food. I can still feel the vibration in, on my tongue. I could, I've never experienced raw food before, so what she was saying is, tr is true. I can still feel it in my mouth. So it's beautiful. I love the dessert and they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> feeling full and feeling alive. <laughs> Not only was it beautifully presented uh, and uh, a delight for the palate, but I always judge food by how I feel afterwards and I feel great. Marina okay. came up with an idea and a way of preparing food that is both nutritious and delicious and alive. Fabulous food, fabulous event. Marina is a treasure. Best raw food ever. Great food, great company. I think I found Nirvana in sandwich. <laughs> great food, loved it, and uh, loved the energy in the room. Marina, thank you. Yes. Marina, I just got a rush message from my stomach, okay. and here's what it said. Hey boss, what's been keeping you? <laughs> I, I'm speechless. Um, to, to feel all the, um, I mean, the, the energy that you received this was with your heart, and I'm so pleased. I mean, it's like so high, I mean like up in the sky with you guys, so thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping, keep clapping. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I want to say something amazing. This is my niece, Sarai. Say hello. Um, she was, you know, I thank God, but at the same time, uh, she was sick three months ago. She was in bed, and you, she can tell the testimony. But I, because of her, I was I was led to call someone who who knew about raw food, live food here on the on the Cape. And she made a call almost at midnight, and she can tell the story. And she is she was in bed, and now she's. Look at her now. And she did all the, she's been helping me. She did the decoration, she did the posts, and so I'm so grateful to you. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I know. I know she doesn't like this, but I have to say. Yeah, this is so awkward. <laughs> but um, I guess the testimony is I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia six years ago. And um, in October, I was in a very serious car accident. Um, and it really shook my body in a way that I never experienced. And my mother came from Colombia to come and help me. I was bedridden for six months. And I did a detox. I lived my life out of Whole Foods with the help of my mom. She made all my food. She was calling my aunt who was in New York at the time. And because my mother was going to be leaving, you know, she came to stay with me and she's been helping me and because of everything that she has taught me and all the stuff that she has been giving me, like my pain is, I don't take any medication or anything for pain or anything. I drink lots of cinnamon water which helps my joints and my muscles and so I'm actually more grateful that she's here than anything else because <laughs> I wouldn't be here. I'd be stuck in bed right now. So 
yeah. I and I did. I, I called Dorothy at midnight, <laughs> thinking that she had an office, and she actually returned my call. She's like, hello. Did you just call me? I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I was like, well, my aunt is here. You know, can we talk in the morning? She's like, sure, absolutely. So we kind of made the connection and thought it would be great to, while she's here, to be able to offer something to Cape Cod that, you know, is different and, and good for everybody. And, so she's very thankful. Yeah. She's not going anywhere. Not anytime soon, no. No. I still need her around. Definitely. She's my niece's daughter. I know her since she was, um, my sister was pregnant, so I, I raised her half. Yeah, she's, she's yeah. like my half mom. Yeah, half mom. So now yeah. I'm mom. Yeah, so now she's mom. Yeah, mom, mom, mom. mom. Yeah. yeah. So thank you all yeah, for coming. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Marina's going to do a presentation and then she has a surprise for you. She loves doing surprises. So yeah. Marina, you're um, on. Iris Moss is, um, I love it. It's, it's a seaweed, yeah, you know, David Jobs, we, that's what I learned about Iris Moss because I didn't know. And the first time my friend made, um, he made a Arismos vanilla, uh, nut milk, and a little bit of raw honey. I was like, whoa, what is that? I was like, what? My brain was like, whoa. And he said, he explained, but I couldn't, I didn't get the message until later. But that day, I never forget. I was so natural high. I was like, whoa, that really kept me going. So he said, this is, they come from the sea. And he put um, a little bit in the water and it, start, it was growing right in front of me. It's like that, it's dry, it's beautiful. It's like a little plant. And uh, you put them in water and it grows like, like that, right? That's how it grows. You can touch it, that's all you can have some if you like. And then what it is, is the, the life that is in it, that, that when you put water, it's like, it comes to life. It's incredible. So I use it, all, the, all my recipes except, oh, um, except the coconut, I didn't, I didn't put anything, uh, and, and, the, and, the, and the cookies, that was it. But Arismas, um, you can use it and everything, even put it on your face, you can clean your face with it. It's very good, it cleans your pores and whatever, put them in your bathtub, whatever, it's inside out. So I'm going to show you. Did you blend that? That's what's in there right now? Yeah, this is already <laughs> blend. So what you do, you just, yes. Um, you, you, you just uh, take a piece like that. It's like jelly. It's, it's really, the smell is like, smell like the sea. It's really phenomenal. Um, then you put a piece and then I'm going to use a little bit of water because I don't have the nut milk, but I, I just, I thought it's the last minute. I said maybe I can put a little bit of water, right? And you put it always a little bit of honey. Honey is, is, a, is a, such a powerful energy that as a cellular level, it connects all, all the elements. It's really awesome. <coughs> I can find it. Okay. Just put a little bit of honey. You don't need a lot, but you do need some. Okay. And then you just put it there. Then you put a little bit of vinegar. It, it, vinegar is equal to malic acid, which is very good for you. All right, it's been Bragg's, I like Bragg's a lot. You just put a little bit, as much as you want. I mean, this is not, and like then, a yeah, something like that. Or you can put more, I mean, it's, it's up to you, really. I'm going to use this, vinegar? apple cider I'm going to use this, this has, um, this is a Parmesan cheese that I use for the, um, uh, this is made of, of um, uh, pumpkin seeds, and you put turmeric and salt, and it's, it's a cheese. So I'm going to put a little bit just for the salt, and I also have nutritional yeast, which is vitamin four and six, and it's very good for your liver. Put a little bit of this the salt. You can use this on everything. It's also very so good. So pumpkin seed, turmeric, and uh, pumpkin seed. This is um, you can taste what's around. Do you taste this? No, this is uh, very good. You can have a pinch of it. It's uh, pumpkin seeds, uh, turmeric, uh, nutritional yeast, and sea salt. That's it. And you can put them on your salad. It's very good for, it's for the balance of your hormones. And it's very tasteful. It's very good. 
It's called the, I call it, we call it the permanent cheese. And then you take a little bit of cilantro, as much as you want. I love cilantro. So you take a bunch of cilantro. Yeah, it's stuck. And you just, I love these blenders because these blenders are amazing. Uh, Whole Foods, I got this from Whole Foods, yeah. Yeah, I love cilantro, it, it's, it's good if you, everybody, if you ever have like poison, something in your stomach, you can put this in the blender, drink it straight, it takes your poison out of your system. It, dra it, it drains it out. The, yeah, it's an anti-poison, it's very good. Um, Did anyone cover. hear that? So, uh, Marina says that if you have anything going on in your stomach, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. the cilantro pulls out the toxins? The toxin. Okay. If you get, I mean, sometimes you feel you eat something or by accident or someone, you know, says, well, you know, I'm intoxicated or something happened, you use cilantro right away and that will save the person's what life. What if you the bolsters too? From the external? External? External. Oh, oh, I'm sure. Anything that you, I believe, this is my belief. Anything that goes in, you can put it out. It's the same thing. I, I do a lot of things like that. You know, it's, I think so. I never done it, but it's a good idea. It's always good to taste before I use it. If I say I don't like it, I won't give it to anybody. If I don't, because you just never know until, you know, if you like it, that's fine. It's, just, it's not, you're gonna have to, you don't have a little spoon here. Well, it's a good idea. Like you see, I'm, I'm a kind of little, kind of tired today, but happy. It's a beautiful green, it's very pretty. And, and it's a little bit of salt, but it'll be fine. You can put also um, um, hot peppers. If you like spicy, you can put hot peppers, it'll be awesome. Um, not, for the, you know, for, not for this recipe, I, I would put like uh, chili peppers. It's, it's really spicy. Oh, 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 oh cayenne pepper. Mm. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> so this, this is um. You can put them on, I and mean, you can take a little bit of this and make a soup with your vegetables over your salad, greens by itself, whatever. It's, it's very. Let's turn out this here. Let's try this. Still not there yet. <laughs> Are we there yet? Oh. Yes, it is a little honey. Yeah, it's, it's not the, the good thing about live food, you can do whatever you want. If you don't like sweet, you can leave it like that. It tastes good to me, but it's a little honey will be better because I'm, I'm picky with flavors. <laughs> it's got to be that, that, what do you say, it's got to be that thing that you know is, is right there. So, it's a little bit of honey will do it, that's it. Okay. I love honey. Honey is excellent. So it's, it's amazing. You can survive on honey, actually. People say things, but it's okay. It's, you have to be your own, how do you say? Judge. Yeah, you have to make your own. She wrote something here. My niece wrote that. You, you read that, no, this here? Hello. Use all your senses. Yeah, you use, use your senses, yes, for, to, for everything. So she wrote that. Right again? It's fair, I want to share. You can have it. 
We don't have a spoon, essentially. It would be nice for, so they can taste, maybe with the celery. Yeah, you want to use this. <laughs> so you know what is missing here? I like that milk to put in that milk. But that's the main idea to use it with the minerals. So you can put your, I mean, you can put garlic. You can put garlic, piece of onion if you like. It's, it's really, but the best thing is with peppers. Hot peppers, you like hot spices, is really excellent. So I just want to show you that. And I was going to share that with you. And um, I have something here that I was going to give to you. This is a little small things that I make for each one of you. It's like a small pizza. So you can take it with you like that, or you can put any cheese you like. You can put the salsa, you can put that, and that was the present. And I have this also. You can take it with you, and I have some more. This is um, made of, this is what I call this little pies, small pies, but in that squash. So, yeah. With, so welcome to have a piece. You can take it with you if you like, or you can eat it. And you also can have a piece of this. This is a, this is a very good, um, good for digestion. It's made out of papaya and prunes. So you can eat it like that. You can put avocado, you can put cilantro, celery, and you can roll it like that. I overdid, the, I left this one for too long. So it was hard to roll, but you can still do, you know, Make it, make it nice. Yeah, the avocado, or you can put apples with cinnamon, mm -hmm. and you can roll it and have a nice dessert. Mm -hmm. And we can put cheese, you know, nut cheese. It's very good. So you're welcome to have one of these for you. So take it with you, and one of these. And if you want some more cookies, please. And this, this I made a special for you. <laughs> this is a little. Uh, this is Marina. this is a it's a pizza base. It's a pizza. But what ingredients? Yeah, this has uh, sunflower and um, Brazil nuts. I always use that. I like that. And turmeric. And uh, you use dehydrated into those. You know, the, yeah. Uh, also has, also, also, also has almond flour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And may, wait a second. I think I also, also put millet. Yeah, millet makes it, makes it like that. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the opposite of this. Yeah, this is, this is made out, it's more fragile. You can make it, when, once you use it in the, the, the dehydrator, it turns really soft. You can roll it, it is soft, hot, if you want. I did it like this because it lasts longer, but you don't have to do it like, you can make it softer, this too. You can, you know, if you're preparing something, you just, I, I don't bake, but if you want to bake, I, I don't know how, how to tell you how to bake it. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> it, ch it will change the chemistry, that's for sure. The best thing is dehydrate, you know, the, if you have a dehydrator, use it. It's, it will be easier. So you can create, and it's, it's very simple. It's not, once you start building bases, bases for these bases, and then you put, it's like painting a picture, you know? You just start painting things. And, uh, I don't have, these recipes, I have them all in my head and my heart. I, there's no book, there's nothing. I, you just become, you know, you can do anything because even though with this, if you want a soup, you can put this in a, with, with water and then put it in a blender and make a soup. All right, if you want. So, like that too. So it's, it's, it turns, you know, back and forth. The, the, the molecules, they, they, because they're not glue, they separate easily. And it's, it's, I mean, you can be so creative with anything like this. So that's what I wanted to surprise you. Thank you so much for okay, if you want to also questions. Oh, sounds great. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes. Maple syrup is not really a lie. It, 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 it's good, but it's, it, they have to cook it. They cook it. You know, so it's very it's delicious. A lot of, I know chefs, they use it, but it's okay. I mean, it's, I, I do believe that it's, it's a balance. 
if you want something, go for it. <laughs> because I mean, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I want rice and beans, I, I eat it. You know, I don't go to the store and buy stuff like meats and things like that. But, um, but, but Turkey um, Thanksgiving, my she had a, a turkey, and I like to cook turkey when it's ready there. So I did, I we, I did cook a turkey for. <coughs> and I didn't eat a lot, I tasted, but um, it's not, it, it, this is a lifestyle, but it's your choice. And it's not about, it's not really about food, it's really about the whole picture. You know, what is, what is in it, what it makes me feel good. And you start listening to your body. When I cook food, my acidity level go away. I mean, I guess my, I get, I can't sleep. But when I like it, I know she knows. <laughs> but also, it very, um, you don't need to eat a lot. Live food is, is connected to us. So we, I hope so like the experience you have tonight, you feel um, satisfied. That's the satisfaction of, you know, connecting, the connection with the energies that is everywhere. And it comes to us and the honor that is very important. Um, and, and on the other hand, we are in trouble with food, so we have to figure it out. And I'm, I'll be glad to help in any way I can. And I'm so, I want to say, I'm so grateful to Dorothy. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. So I see, thank you, Marina. I see Marina able to help us move forward with any of the obstacles that we have in having a healthy lifestyle and how to prepare it. We're gonna be talking further about what type of classes mm -hmm. and so forth. So uh, email us and, or if you want a piece of paper, I'll you know, leave something uh, anonymous, that, that's fine. Generally I have feedback forms, but I didn't have a chance to do that today. But also, um, Marina and I were talking, there's a film out called Cowspiracy. And oh. this is not a film for everyone because people are not ready to hear what this film is saying. Are you gonna show yeah, it? Show yes, it. I'm going to show it. I saw it twice and I'm, I want you to take it to the different schools, take it around and build bridges, not separation. All right. But when I got this film, I and once you get it, your life changes. And for, I want this planet to continue. I want yeah. the beauty in on this planet and I want my grandchildren to enjoy the beauty on the planet. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if, so I've taken on like, I feel like it's my purpose to educate people about this film, Conspiracies. But if you get this film, your life changes. You, we have a responsibility of leaving this planet a better place. Each and every person here is a contribution mm -hmm. to leaving it. You know, and many people say, oh, oh, what can you do? What can you do? Watch the film and you'll see what you can do. Okay. So, um, anything else? Or I think that's okay. It. Any any uh, questions or anything else? Yes. I guess a statement. I, I've been honored to be in your, both your presences, and I think everybody will agree. Both of you have a vast love, your honor, goodness, and kindness, and I think we all should share in that. You all oh, are sharing it. Yeah. You wouldn't be here. You wouldn't Fair be here. Same. You know, th thank That's you. That's a connection, thank you. It's a beautiful connection. Yeah. I had a restaurant in Florida. I designed my, the bar, 25 people sitting in front. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you can have a table, <coughs> so you can sit on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you can, that's what I did. It, so, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can sit in the center, yeah. You can sit in the center, yeah, the center, and or the way, right. But the idea is to, to me, is not just um, uh, lessons, but it's hands, you know, get able to touch and smell 
and ask questions and get involved. So you, it's not, it's not my gift. I, it's not my gift. It's all of us have a gift of my, be able to, to help to bring that out. And because it's, we all have a gift. It's not me. It's not. It's not about me. So um, you become, you know, more creative and more um, aware. And um, once you start doing that, because I did that, I was so like, oh my goodness, you don't cook? I was like, oh, David. And David, is, he, he's not a doctor with a white color. He has a very interesting haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he is oh, he's always uh, kind. And sometimes like, oh, is that David? And I was like, and then he said, yes. <laughs> he's an amazing person. He doesn't judge people. He doesn't. You, you can have any, any challenge. I mean, and he will <laughs> wait for the report and he will go, amazing. Are we ready? So that's, that's all that's necessary too. Not too many words, but get into an action. So if he, with my part, if he, you want to learn, for example, to make cheese, I want you to just do it. You know, like I did, I went and I said, I wanted to do that. I wanted to learn how to make nut milk. Why are you making milk from nuts? Yes, I wanted that, I want that. So I was able to, to get right away and I made a lot of mistakes. I was like, what is that? Okay, yeah, and that, and that, you know. Um, but that's how you do it, really. Is you get all these elements together and you start painting your own picture, you bring your, ta your talent, your gift. Because we all have a gift. We are God gifts. I, I'm a Christian and I believe that we are, we are designed with unique qualities and it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter what you have, it's who we are. And we are like this, we can be separated. So I'm so grateful. And thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you. Thank you.